it's Faith, and I know it's been a long time, and I really do apologize. I've been super busy, and I've had a lot of things going on um, personally with, um, I mean, all good, all good. Um, okay, so let's get started. It's the middle of March, so that means I have a few weeks left, and I've been preparing for the dental admission test, and um, so I just want to let you know what I've been doing. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the uh, art class that I'm taking. It's an intro to studio art, and I'm finding it very helpful to spark my creativity and also to tap into um, the other side of my brain, which I, I don't use as often as I should, <laughs> um, I, especially since I've been preparing, been preparing for this exam, which uses, um, which I've been, you know focusing on science, math, and all that stuff. Okay, so basically, in this art class, it's just uh, an intro class, so we're learning a broad basis of everything from drawing to um, ground figure designs. We're gonna be starting painting soon, uh, and we're building up to the final project, which is we need to create uh, a, a duplicate of uh, of a masterpiece so um, that's gonna be very challenging for me because I don't really consider myself one who ventures far from abstract art <laughs> at all <laughs> all right um, so so I will let you know how that goes okay um, and I wanted to throw a few questions out there to dental students also dentists do you consider yourself an artist and do you find the work that you do artistic? And if so, how? And, um, and as you were preparing for dental schools, did you take art classes or um, like, like wood shop or anything creative where you're using your hands, uh, pottery, uh, and so, so on in preparation or just because you really enjoy it? Um, so that's, uh, those are some questions for you. And um, let's see, okay, so moving right along. I am taking the exam at the end of this month. I'm actually still trying to schedule it. Uh, I know you're supposed to schedule it about six months out, um, but I wasn't sure where I would be, and, uh, so I do, and I'm a huge procrastinator at times. Uh, so that's what I've been doing this week. And um, so I registered for the dent pen it's a uh, eight digit code and um, I will be applying for the DAT this week. Um, so to prepare for the actual exam, I've been using a few online resources. Uh, I purchased the DAT destroyer, but that was um, a while back. So I've been working on that continuously. But just recently I purchased the DAT achiever which gives you three different practice exams, but you can use them, you can take them as many times as you'd like. Um, so I took one practice exam this past weekend to figure out where I stand as of now, and I have a, a bit more work to do. And uh, I also purchased the Crack the Path uh, PA, for the PAT section, and I've been working on that as well. And I found that to be very, very helpful uh, in, um, just getting a, a huge variety of different angle rankings or the keyhole, um, the top front end, all of those things are on there and it's there's so many tests. I, I think I purchased one that has like 20 tests. So that's what I've been working on and um, I'm, I'm really excited about it because I, uh, it's, it's great practice, great practice. I, I highly recommend the Crack the Path. Um, and I also recommend the DAT Destroyer, although some of the solutions they provide aren't really as in-depth as I would like them to be, but it's, it's, it's pretty good and decent. I've been also referring to past uh, um, course books. So um, I've been looking at the Orgo, Orgo book, um, that's Organic Chemistry, and uh, my Microbiology. Uh, book as well and um, it's very very helpful okay so what else did you do how else did you prepare did you use these sources or um, others 
uh, I've also been going, uh, I went on the ADA website and I found the actual list of all of the subjects that were are supposed to be on the test. So I've been following that and um, limiting my studying to those because otherwise it just there's just so much material out there and I don't want to get off course. So I found that to be very, very helpful, especially with um, like the gas equations and like stoichiometry. Um, just revisiting those subjects has been helpful. Um, okay, so that's what I've been doing. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions for me that would be um, fantastic and I would really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, so that will do it for now. I will talk to you soon and hopefully sooner than before. <laughs> okay, <laughs> talk to you later.